Hello everyone, this is Sue Broom, and I am here to do the weekly angel card reading for the week of April 8 through 14 of 2024. And for those of you that are in the United States, you may be aware that there's actually in Mexico, United States, and Canada, that Monday we do have the full solar eclipse that is going through, right through the United States. So it will affect all of us no matter where you are in the world. So it's, it's exciting though. So let's see how that is going to play out with what the cards have to share with us. So I am shuffling the Desert Speaks deck where I pull one card to anchor the reading. And if you haven't already, please clear your energy, clear your space, call on your angels, and set the intention that the perfect card from this deck is going to come up for all of us, no matter when you are seeing this. So let's see. And then we'll be pulling three cards from the Angels Are Everywhere deck. Now, just a minute ago, it seemed like the cards were jumping, and now they're just getting situated. Okay. They had to kind of settle in. I do think that the energies have been ramping up. So if you don't know anything about the solar eclipse, you might want to look it up. And there is the card, and there goes my alarm for 10 o'clock. So I don't know what the card is. And the reason I say uh, the alarm for 10 o'clock is because I do go live on Facebook every single Sunday, 10 a.m. Arizona time to reveal the cards in person. And then I hang around to see who would like me to pull a card. So I'm shuffling the angels are everywhere. And I'm gonna be pulling three cards to see how the angels are gonna support us, how the angels are gonna, the angels are always giving us loving guidance. And I'm sure that when you see the cards, you're like, oh yeah, that definitely resonates with me because I've been feeling that or I've been hearing that message from other places. So sometimes when there's a lot of stuff going, when the, there's a lot of energies, the angels take a little bit longer to... <laughs> because it's like, okay, where do I want to go with this? That's, that's my, of course, that's my interpretation. Because I think they want to share everything that's in the whole deck with us. So... Yeah, so this is going to be, a, a, I think, a very reflective week. Second angel card. And there go the chimes. See, we got my phone going off. We got the chimes, the solar chimes, hint, hint, with the solar eclipse coming. <laughs> All right, one more angel card. Come on, angels. Call in the angels. Perfect card for everyone, no matter when people are seeing this. No matter when. Wow, they are taking their time. Oh, there we go. All right. So, I have one Desert Speaks, three angel cards, and I don't know what any of them are. All right. So, holding the intention right along with you that these are the perfect cards. Okay, so let's see what the cards are sharing with us for the week of April 8 through 14. And again, Monday is the full solar eclipse. Exciting, exciting. So the Desert Speaks card is freedom. Oh, you know, it's what's interesting. So if you think about solar eclipse, you know, you can see the sun, the moon comes, covers it up. And so what do we have this butterfly doing? Partially covering up the flower. That's pretty funny. <laughs> now I understand the butterfly is not the same shape. So, But I find that very interesting. So, of course, really pay attention. to What does the freedom and the solar eclipse, you know, because, yes, the solar eclipse might be on Monday, but it is going to be affecting us all week long. Uh, eclipses affect us, some of us, more than others for the next year. Yes, I did say a year. For some people, it's, it's really six months. And some of the things that come up through the solar eclipse for, for the 
transformation that you are going through, you might not even notice it for a couple of weeks. So pay attention. How does freedom fit into the transformation, the life that you are transforming into? How does freedom, what, what does that, how does that manifest in your life? What does that mean for you? Does it mean that you are walking away from a relationship? Does it mean that you are walking away from um, a career that you thought you would be at for the rest of your life? Does it mean that, you know, fill in the blank for you? What does it mean for you? So let's see how the angels are going to support us this week. First angel card we have is you are loved. And you know what? Absolutely. We want to feel that we are loved when we have a lot of transformation, when we have a lot of changes going on. It's it's just, it takes a lot of, of our power when we are supported, when we know that we are supported, when we know that we are loved. So remember that the angels are supporting us. Remember that our loved ones on the other side are supporting us. We have loved ones on the other side of the world that are still here in the 3D world that are supporting us. Even though you might not hear from friends and loved ones every single day, every single week, know that they are supporting you. Of course, we have the divine, we have the ascended masters and the angels. Now, the other thing is nature supports us more than we know and letting us know that we are loved, but also maybe let nature know that nature is loved as well. Talk to the trees, talk to the flowers, talk to the birds, talk to the butterflies. Just an idea. Second angel card we have is loved one in spirit. So who is that for you? Because it's gonna be different for everyone and especially with the butterfly. So that may be someone specific for you. Some people have very specific, um, this is a hummingbird, this, this is my mom, or this is my grandma, or a flower, a certain flower that maybe, you know, represents your mom's favorite flowers. And for many, it is butterflies. So who is it for you? And I'm going to go back to, you are loved. Absolutely. You have loved one in spirit. Keeping in mind that the loved one in spirit is also spirit. So, because spirit is in spirit. Yeah. Third angel card we have is nurture your soul. Absolutely. You know, and going back to the freedom card, when we feel that we have the freedom to do something that we love. You know, creating something that we we just lose our time and are, are enjoying ourselves right to our soul. It is feeding our soul. So it's going to be an interesting time. I think it's going to be an interesting week. And keep in mind, this is something really, like I said, you might not feel the effects for a few weeks, a few months, but it's going to, there's a lot of transformation that's going on. So angel blessings to you, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you haven't already, I'd love to hear your comments about today's cards. And if you'd like to find out more about me, go to my website, suebroom.com. That's where you can get links to everything if you want your own personal angel card reading or your personal healing with the angels session those are available on my website as well as links to my etsy store and my amazon uh, author pages so of course there's a message a channel message from the angels every single monday that comes out on my blog have a great week everyone angel blessings